Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy. Are you ready to build some muscles in this menopause era? And maybe you're perimenopause, maybe you're even a guy. It doesn't matter, the formula is still gonna be the same. We're going to start to lift a little bit heavier. So here's the format today. We'll do descending reps. You're gonna start at 15 reps of everything and that's gonna be nice and light. That'll be our warm up set. And then we'll move into our working sets. We'll move from 12 reps to 10 reps to eight reps. So as we descend in rep amount, you're gonna increase your weight amount. You're gonna require that variety of dumbbells for the workout and here are the dumbbells that I'll be using in the session today. All right, I'm also gonna use a bench, but if you don't have one, no worries. I'll show you modifications or you can just use the floor. Now I'll start you with a warm up, and we'll end with a cool down. And hey, if you're looking for a structured program that includes two upper body, two lower body, two cardio workouts per week, I've got a new calendar that's an advanced calendar called our Body Sculpt Blueprint. So check it out. There's a link in the description below or at the top of the screen there. Download that and you can get started today. All right, but for today, let's do this workout and move daily. All right, a traditional strength on the watch, total body strength. All right, just we're gonna hit all of those major muscle groups today. Okay, and do that descending rep pattern. Switch directions here. I like this because I like that warm up set just to get the muscles awake and figure out what you're gonna do for your working sets. Switch sides. Again, we're gonna follow that reps in reserve concept. So in the first set, you'll have lots of reps left in reserve. Switch directions, meaning you'll have lots left in the tank. You could have gone a lot longer. Then in sets two, three, and four, that's where we're going to begin to drop um, sets, right? And increase weights. So in your first, or in your second, I guess, your second set, I want you to leave about three to four reps left in the tank. So you've got a good amount of energy left. Then, in the third set, you're gonna leave between two to three reps left in the tank. Okay, so now, again, you're picking up heavier weights. You're challenging the system. In that final set where we're doing eight reps, try not to leave much in the tank at all. Maybe zero to one reps left in reserve. Okay, so that's the RIR, or reps in reserve concept. Stay wide, tap the toes. more here. Nice, and I'm gonna take it down to the ground right here, nice and low, but you can stay up high. And a little side to side lunge. Oh yeah, draw your elbows to the ground to increase this stretch if you're down low like me. One more here. Up. Let's go into a static lunge. Pelvic tilt and drop for 10 per leg here. Last one on this side. And switch your legs and drop. Last one here. Good. Oh, let's do some hip openers. Just feel like the hip on one side needs a little bit more warm up, warm up here. Good, I'm gonna come from the back and come forward. Finishing with a torso turn. All 
All right, very good. We're gonna start with legs. Take a look at the screen, 15 reps of everything. I'm gonna start with my 12 pounds for this squat reverse deadlift. All right, 15 reps. Feet are shoulder width apart. Let's start with that suitcase squat and then hip hinge and stand. So you're low, hinge and one. That's it. Down and two. You've got 15 here. There's 10, five more. Last for me. Very nice. Moving into your Bulgarian split squat. If you don't have a bench, for the back leg, you're just gonna go into that static lunge. Otherwise, you can take a step forward. Foot goes back and flat. You've got 15 per leg. Here we go. I'm gonna do the first round without any weights. Just to warm up the glutes again. We're in warm up mode in round one. Last for me, and switching legs. 15 on this side, forward lean, and drop and drive. And for me, last five. Okay, and there's my 15. 12 reps of everything. I'm gonna move into my 15 pounds for my squat reverse deadlift. 12 reps. Thinking of those feet pushing apart on the floor. Here we go, drop here, hip hinge, there's one. Four more for me. And there's my 12, moving into my split squat. I'll hold 115, 12 per leg, or that static lunge. Okay, forward lean. Here we go, drop it, 12, good, and two. Okay, there's my 12, switching legs. This is kicking heart rate up. Forward lean and drop for 12.
Last for me. There's 12, okay. 10 reps of everything. I'm moving to my 20s for the squat reverse deadlift. Shoulders back, core engaged. Suitcase squat, drop it for 10. I'll go into the split squat, also holding my 20. Ten a leg, forward lean, and drop for 10. Five more here. Of course, you could always hold two dumbbells, one in each hand, if you wish. Last one for me. And there's my 10, switching legs. And 10 right here. Last here. Whoo, she's fire. All right, a little sip before eight reps because I'm gonna go heaviest. I'll hold my 25s, but always lift within your own abilities. This is where I'm at. Might be different than you. Eight. And work. Core is engaged. I'm not holding my breath, but I'm holding that core. Last for me. I'll stick with the 25 theme for my split squat or static lunge. All right, eight a leg. When you're ready, and drop, drive. Eight, oh, nice. Switching legs. Oh, mercy, okay. That was good, I was at failure on that side. Nice work. Take a look at the screen, you see what's coming up next. Pause if you need a longer rest, okay. We're gonna go into back next. First exercise, I'm gonna do a one arm row. You could hinge forward at the waist here, or prop yourself up on something so you're nice and flat, and row here. I think I'll keep that guy handy. Let's start with 15 reps of everything. I've got my 15 pound dumbbell here. 15 on each arm, back is super flat. Draw the elbow toward the ceiling, and here we go. You wanna draw between that chest and your hip. 
Just warming up with this set. Five more for me. And there's 15, switching sides. Move this over a bit. All right, other side. Leg is out and back, back is flat, and draw. And there we go. Moving into your bicep curl, we're gonna hit that palms up curl. 15 reps, I'm gonna start just with my tens. Get that bicep warmed up, palms face the ceiling. And curl right here, up. I wanna see a full range of motion, all the way up, all the way down. And three, back stays tall. And there's 15. Okay, 12 reps of everything. I am gonna pop right up to my 25 for my one arm row. Okay, you can do 20, you can do whatever your next jump is. You've got 12 aside, back is flat, and row one. Let's go. Six halfway, think of retracting that shoulder blade. And there's my 12. Yeah, that was a good weight because I still had a few more left in the tank here. Other side, and 12, back is flat. And there's my 12. Into the bicep curls for 12. And I'll go to 12 pound dumbbells here. Palms are up, shoulders back, and curl all the way up, all the way down. And 12, nice, 10 of everything. Now's the time to start to challenge this up a bit. Let's just stretch it out. I'm gonna go with my 30, I think, for my one arm row. Feels like I can. If you only have lighter dumbbells, you could try holding two together as long as it feels safe, linking your hands around that. I used to do that all the time when I needed a heavier weight and didn't have it. 10 aside. Back is flat, in a row for 10. There we go. Didn't have much left in the tank there. <laughs> that was hard. Okay, other side, and 10.
Okay, there was 10 again. Again, I'll see. I might stick with that for my last. I'm gonna go to 15s for my bicep curls, but just rest two seconds here. Different muscle group, but that arm still feels the fatigue. The bicep can still feel some fatigue there from the one arm row. Okay, 10 reps with my 15s. Shoulders back, knees are soft, and curl right here. Now let's just do a little stretch out, quick sip before we move into eight reps because now we gotta lift as heavy as we can. I'm gonna try the 35, um, just for fun. <laughs> I'll leave my 30 handy just in case I can't. Lift within your own abilities. Sometimes you don't know until you try, but you have to have good form. Eight. When you're ready. Oh, that's hard. And you can do six to eight as well, right? Anywhere in that range is probably fine. Okay, doable, but just switching sides. One day years ago, I used to be able to do 50s on this, but <laughs> that, that day's gone. Eight here, let's work. Good, actually. Good, good, good. Swing it out. Eight bicep curls. <sighs> my brain's telling me to try the 20s. My arms are saying, don't even think about it, but brain is gonna win. Let's see how she, do <laughs> she rolls here. Eight reps. Seven is my max. Did you get eight? Whew. Remember, we wanted to go till failure. I was there at seven. Nice, take a moment to stretch things out. We'll hit that chest and triceps next. Take a look, grab your weights, join me back. I'm gonna keep it quite basic with just a simple chest press. I'm gonna start with my 12s over the chest. You can use the floor or a bench, bozu ball, Swiss ball, whatever you have. Let's go for 15 reps over the chest. Press here and flex at the top. And you're one. Good, and two. So I've got dumbbells slightly angled, okay? So they're not straight across, they're just slightly angled to accommodate my wrists. Here's 10. Five more for me. I also don't want to dip below 90 degrees here if I'm on a bench. Last one here. And there's my 15. Okay, I'm gonna leave those 12s there, but for triceps for now, I'll grab my 10s. Just a nice overhead tricep extension for 15. Flat on your back again. We're just bending at the elbows here. Get ready, and down we go. Low and one. Flex at the top and two. Mm. 
There's 10, I've got five more. Slow and five, slow and four. Last one here. Okay, that was our warm up. Now we're moving into the working sets. So I'm gonna jump right to 20s for my chest press for 12 reps, as I already know that I can do that amount. Remember to stay over the chest, don't migrate over the neck or face. Here we go. 12 reps and push. Good, good. Okay, I'll rack those. Moving into 12 tricep extensions and I'll hold my 12 pound dumbbells. Swing those arms out for a sec. Do you wanna be able to do the next exercise? Remember, now we've got about three to four reps left in the tank, okay? Here we go for 12, low and one. And there's 12 for me. Okay, going into 10 reps of everything and I'll grab my 25s for the chest press. Yes, I will. Here I go. Why is a 25 right there? I don't know. 25, 25. Okay, 10 reps each. <clears throat> you could kick these up, okay, with your knees if you're on a bench. Otherwise, lift within your abilities that you can get in and out of position, of course. Here we go for 10. And 10. To my tricep extension. I think I'm going to stick with 12s for the 10 reps. Then I'll go up to 15s on my eight. Shake it out for a second. All right, 10 here. Here we go. Low and 10. There we go, nice, nice. Final round, we're moving into eight reps of everything. I'm gonna go to the 30s on my chest press. Am I? Yep, I'm gonna try it for eight reps. Definitely feeling that swell in my triceps right now. Okay, did I do 30s last time? No, I don't remember, maybe I did. Okay, eight of everything. Just get a scratch. When you're ready, go to work. And 
there's eight. Whew. Nice. I was definitely the zero to one reps in reserve on that guy, for sure. I'm just gonna grab a sip before my triceps, mostly just to let those arms rest a bit. A sip of nothing that's left. <laughs> I'm gonna try this 15s on my tricep extension for eight. I know the one side will be fine, it's just the other side. Well, can it do it? <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Remember, anywhere between that six and eight reps is nice on the last set. When you're ready, here we go. Two more for me. Last year. Come on, go, 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 go. Yes, perfect. Oh, right side was trembling. That's okay, nice work. Shoulders is coming up, so take a look at the screen. That's what we've got. I'm gonna also throw a little ab exercise into that one as well. So two shoulders, one ab, so we get some core and ab work. All right, join me back. 15 reps of everything, and I'm starting with my five pound dumbbells with that lateral raise. Out to the side, a nice little softness in the elbow. Stick your chest out, knees are soft, and you're 15 here. <laughs> this feels so light compared to the what I just chest pressed. <laughs> I know they'll feel heavy in a moment, but right now they're like, woo! There's 10, five more here. And there's my 15, just give the shoulders a roll. We're gonna go into our palms up, front raise. So you can start at your sides or in front of the thighs, bring together at the top for 15. Five pounds, and you're here, stick the chest out. And two, don't swing at the bottom. There's 10, five more here. And down for your abs. I'm gonna hold, uh, bring down a heavy dumbbell just to hang on to. We're gonna do some leg raises here. And if you put a dumbbell behind the head and hold on, it can help keep that back from arching, though you could put your hands under your bottom and you could do a single leg as well to modify. Here we go, 15, and we're here. And one, good, two. There's 10, five more. Really try not to arch the back. Okay, keep that back pressed into the floor. Last one for me. And there we go. 12 of everything. I'll go with eights. Twelve reps, shoulders back. Face the ceiling. Twelve here.
Last for me. And into the 12 leg lifts. Twelve right here, and lower to hover, and up. Ten of everything. <sighs> I think I'll go with tens. <sighs> I love these strength workouts like this. I know some people are gonna hate it. <laughs> it's okay. This is what I need to build muscle, otherwise my body won't. So here we go. You've got ten. I'm holding tens. Up. <clears throat> Shoulders back, palms are up. We'll bring it up. Here we go. a little hip hop onto my leg raise just to make it a bit more challenging. So leg raise, pop the hips. You can stay the same as you were if you wish. 10 here. So here we go, leg raise and then pop right here, up and slow, low and up. Everything. I'll hold 12s. Whew. It's feeling really good. I really like it. Okay. Eight of everything, holding my 12s. When you're ready, don't strain here. my eight, <clears throat> excuse me, palms up, eight right here, don't swing the body, last for me, Boom. Oh, it felt so good. Into eight. Leg raises, I'm adding that hip hop again. Feel free. Last eight things here. Ready, here we go. And one. Last three here. There's three, and two, and one and done. <sighs> you move daily in your muscles and menopause, strength set, descending reps, great. 
great way to train, and what would even be lovelier, in my opinion, is dividing it up into muscle groups. So do all legs with the descending reps, right? Hitting hamstrings, quads, calves, um, glutes. Do glutes and shoulders, and do that superset. Do biceps and triceps. Do chest and triceps, or so biceps and back, and then chest and triceps. Anyway, good set. Join me for a stretch if you can. Stretch on the wall here. Just open up in that chest a little bit here. It's tremendous work, folks. Really nice. I know triceps will probably feel that tomorrow. Oh, biceps too from hitting those 20s. Zoiks. <laughs> I'm surprised I did that. Again, I have the one side that's a bit weaker. The, the 20s on the left felt great, but you have to, you know, when you're doing a workout like that, when you're not doing isolateral, but both at the same time, you kind of have to just lift to what your weaker side is doing, <clears throat> right? But that's okay. Um, I'm overall feeling pretty strong, so that feels good. One of the things I do supplement with is creatine monohydrate, and I know there's quite a few people who follow us who are doing that. If you want more information on that, definitely check out Dr. Darren Kandau. Okay, he's a creatine monohydrate research specialist. This has been his life's work, so he's gonna know a thing or two. And there was a study actually done in menopausal women, which was awesome to see. It was a long study as well. I think they, they viewed these people for over 10 years, which is like an amazing amount of time to be uh, viewing people. I wanna say that that study was they entered the study premenopausal or perimenopausal and then exited the study menopausal or postmenopausal. So they really got to see the gambit of how creatine monohydrate impacted uh, these women. And there were a lot of great findings, so much so that, of course, this paper was written and uh, you've heard it probably lots in the news and in different places that. Uh, people are recommending research scientists and fitness professionals recommending creatine. Mind you, it's been around for the better part of 50 years and one of the most tried and true supplements in the market on the market. So what it says it does, it does. So that's bringing hydration into the, the cells. That is helping with muscle protein synthesis, so increasing the muscle um, size, right? Helping you grow muscle, but also, um, let's put the hand behind the back and pull gently and tilt the neck the same way, but also with reparation. So I feel like my repair post-workout doesn't take as long as I used to. I don't get that delayed onset of muscle soreness as frequently. Sometimes when I do things that are completely different, then yes, you're gonna get it regardless because the muscles haven't adapted to that regime yet. So even something like this, throwing four sets in and lifting as heavy as I can on that last one is gonna feel a little bit different, right? So that's why I'm saying, I think I'll feel the biceps and triceps for sure in the next coming days. But anyway, I do have it linked in my Amazon store so you can take a look. You just, any brand really is fine. You just want creatine monohydrate is what you want. And there's lots of different dosing that you can do. Again, you can look up Dr. Darren Kandau or follow him over on Instagram and talk about it. I do five grams a day, but there's lots of ways you can saturate the muscle really anywhere between that three and five grams per day. And it's not something that you cycle on and off of. You go on it and then you stay on it for the rest of your life, basically. Uh, lots of great evidence in how it supports seniors with mental clarity, memory, and cognitive function as well. So yeah, they're seeing a lot of great things. Um, I, some people might notice a bit of water retention, but that makes sense because it does hold the water so that it can hydrate this, the muscle <laughs> so that it can lift heavier weights so that you can get stronger. Right? So if that's a target of yours, it's super beneficial for that. But do your own due diligence and always consult with the doctor before beginning any supplementation protocol. <laughs> this should have been a radio announcer. All right, thanks for joining. I'll see you in the next workout.